I'm Mayor Pauline Russo-Cutter, and I'm here in the newly renovated Main Library in downtown San Leandro. These are exciting times for our city. San Leandro is at the forefront of economic prosperity. So as we continue to look to our future, we want to make sure that we're also providing for the people who are here now. I believe that a community gets stronger by lifting up all of the individuals living here so that in San Leandro we plan for the future by investing in all of our people. We remain grateful for the continued support of the voters who choose time and time again to invest in our people. I want to thank you for making those investments and also making San Leandro a city where kindness matters. I don't think that there's anybody out there that doesn't have something that they can give. And by volunteering and researching about nonprofits in the community, I was able to better engage. And I think that that's an opportunity that all residents have. And um, the sense of community that gets built from that is amazing. So you've got just this huge group of families, young families that are moving into San Leandro and they want to engage and they want to volunteer. And I think you don't have to look far to find needs in the community or any community. People don't know how and when they can give. There are obstacles that get in the way for families, especially families with young children, to be able to volunteer or build community or learn and grow and build their skill sets. And so Community Impact Lab is an answer to that. Um, we wanted to create opportunities that weren't just family friendly in that you could bring your kids, but were family oriented. You're able to bring your children and actually fully engage them with you so that you talk about why you're helping and who you're helping. Volunteerism is one of the best ways that you can build a strong community and engage the residents in really meaningful ways. We are constantly today bombarded with infinite details, lots and lots of data, and we stop listening to what's really going on inside. I think that art brings us back to a place that's quiet, where we can really know who we are. Around 2000, I joined the Arts Council of San Leandro. We're still working on a master plan for, uh, through the Arts Commission, and there will be many things that come to light later, but at this moment we're working on the ongoing mural projects and of course the utility boxes will continue to pop up around the city. I believe it's an important message to bring to the rest of the world, to my little circle and then going out. I, I try to do whatever I can to support art and artists within the community because it's really important. It makes us remember to breathe again. Technology and innovation are mainly about people, and one of the benefits of San Leandro is it's so centrally located that we have access to everybody in the East Bay. Many people will define smart city as being smart meters, but it's a lot more than that. It means that you're controlling your resources intelligently. There's several programs ongoing in San Leandro that, that address this directly. The fiber is one of them, where you can do things like connect buildings together in a campus or communicate with a data center. Having a fiber or some sort of a communication loop is essential for a city. There is new manufacturing that's coming, and it will take communication, fiber, robots, people talking about analytics, they talk about the cloud, they talk about smart cars, autonomous vehicles. These all imply a very intense communication between the systems. The role of a city is going to be infrastructure as it's always been, but it has to be able to support this new technology. What motivates me to be an active neighbor initially was the fact that my children 
were going to uh, the schools and it was incumbent upon me to get involved. It really gave me an opportunity to have these open dialogue with people that I didn't agree with. As a result, many of them are now my friends. The role I see the community having in creating an inclusive environment in San Leandro is to basically just get involved. You want to make sure that San Leandro is a safe city for, for everyone, that it's equitable for everyone. And I think what we're trying to do here is create a safe environment so that we can have these kind of dialogue. I hope that the, all the community would come out and, and participate and, and let's have this open dialogue around equality and justice for all. San Leandro Homeless Compact has given us all the opportunity to end homelessness in San Leandro. April Showers approached homelessness uh, starting in 2002 as a 100% volunteer organization and during that time we supplied showers and bag lunches and hot lunches, some clothes for the homeless, but it didn't approach the bottom line pro problem which was to get people off the street and into some type of permanent housing some place they could live with dignity and respect, not be tied up in shelters or living in the creek. So what I think is unique about the Homeless Compact is it really brings together the community, the city, the San Leandro Police Department to end homelessness in San Leandro. And that has been so crucial because the police are the folks that see these folks every day. So the compact has been a great achievement, uh, but more so the partnership and trust that's come from the compact is invaluable. We've been able to house uh, approximately uh, 12 individuals into housing. We've also been able to uh, get individuals into shelters, um, get them to uh, medical appointments that they're in much need of. We've been able to grow our warming shelter to, to averaging over 30 people per night, so it's, I think it's been a tremendous success. We have a lot more work to do, but I think this is really, um, this kind of compassion and teamwork is how we're going to get it done. One of the responsibilities that I have as the Chief of Police with the City of San Leandro is to make sure that our community feels safe and engaged. That's making sure that my officers are engaged with you and that we can provide a safe, fun, and happy environment for the city to be successful. So there are a variety of ways to connect with us, whether it's virtually or in person at our, uh, what we like to call at our COPS events, which is our pizza with the COPS, our coffee with the COPS, our recess with the COPS, and especially during the holiday season, you can connect with us with our cookies with the COPS and Santa on Motors. Virtually through our social media presence on Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo. I am the face behind Weibo. The purpose of my involvement in Weibo is to allow the Chinese community that live within my city an open channel and an open platform in their own native language so that they can gather information, obtain notification without resourcing to English platform or the traditional. Another program we offer is our Citizens Police Academy, which is a rare opportunity to catch a glimpse of the behind the scenes operations in the police department. And this is really an opportunity for you to understand a little bit better what we do and take this information and become an ambassador for the police department and the city. Connecting with our community is extremely crucial.
critical for us moving forward, not only as a unified, diverse community, but also as my role as a police chief. If you'd like to connect with the City of San Leandro Police Department, please look us up on our Twitter page, Facebook, Instagram, and Weibo. So again, thank you very much, and I hope that you connect with us on our social media.